Every April, I have to have this conversation with people about why hashtag light it up blue is a really bad idea. I'm getting kind of tired of it. So, instead of rewriting the same frick frack and Twitter posts every diddly damn year, I'm going to compile all my thoughts into one handy video. First things first, what is Autism Speaks? Well, it claims to be a charity for autistic children and their families. You've probably seen their merchandise everywhere, blue, yellow, and red puzzle pieces as far as the eye can see. So why is Autism Speaks bad for your kids? Well, let's start with the board of directors. Only two of the 26 members is an actual autistic person. By contrast, 19 of the board members represent a major corporation. Statistically, that means more people running this charitable organization are profit-minded individuals than there are individuals that have any first-hand experiences living the lives of autistic adults. The results of this are pretty visible in the statistics of their spending. 42% of funds go to lobbying, advertising, and other forms of raising awareness. 32% goes to researching a cure that autistic people are very outspoken about not wanting. 16% goes to fundraising events. 2% goes to family services and 8% goes to miscellaneous. How in the hell can you call yourself a charity meant to support autistic people when almost none of your funds actually go to helping autistic people? And then we get to their advocacy campaigns. Autism Speaks has an affinity for demonizing autism and the people that have it. They tend to portray autistic children as animalistic, insapient, incapable of rational thought, and fundamentally broken, and portraying their parents as miserable people who would love nothing more than for their child to be taken away and replaced with a child that looks the same, but is normal. A rather egregious example is their intensely offensive I Am Autism video from 2009. Promising a threatening, ominous autism that knows where you live and works faster than pediatric AIDS, cancer, and diabetes combined. They also imply that having an autistic child will destroy your marriage. Newsflash, it won't. Or, if you like, we can look at the call to action by Suzanne Wright, the founder of Autism Speaks, where she compares the existence of autistic children to mass death or kidnapping. And this is only a fraction of the problem. Autism Speaks provides no support for autistic adults, disputes the fact that girls can be autistic, and supports a chemical solution called Miracle Mineral Solution, a bleach-like chemical solvent that is injected anally to theoretically cure autism. In truth, MMS causes your intestinal lining to fall out, slowly killing you. Several children have already died. Anyone with basic comprehension skills can tell you that Autism Speaks does not care about your child. They think your child should be dead, and that your kid is so miserable they can barely be considered a person. And parents, that should offend you. That should offend you a lot. Because saying that your child will destroy your lives, saying that your child is barely living, that's not only an insult to your child, but to you as a parent, because they are saying you are incapable of properly accommodating your autistic child. That it is impossible for anyone to raise a happy, healthy, competent autistic child. Their advertising and videos often portray parents of autistic children as overwhelmingly suicidal child abusers who will do anything to escape the responsibility of raising the child they chose to bring into this world. These messages of despair are damaging to everyone, but most importantly to your child. By supporting Autism Speaks, you send the message to your little ones that you are a burden. I do not want you as you are. I would rather die and bring you with me than continue raising an autistic child. You need to be fixed. 
Is that the kind of message you want to send your kids? That you don't love them? I really don't think so. There are a few organizations out there that are run and endorsed by autistic people. There's ASAM, the Autistic Self-Advocacy Network, which is the biggest autistic-run advocacy network in the whole field right now. They're incredible, and their support systems are absolutely wonderful. There's also the Autism Network International, the Autism Women and Non-Binary Network, TASH, and ADAPT. There are links to all of those in the description below. Give them some love if you really want to help autistic folks. Happy Autism Acceptance Month, everybody. Do some good in the world. Stay smart, stay safe, stay informed. Hey everybody, end credits patchwork heart here. I have my first sponsor. If you live in California or another state with legalized cannabis, check out this week's sponsor, Ease. They can help you get a permit and in recreational states will deliver cannabis to your home. So if you're an autistic person who struggles with chronic pain or sensory problems, or if you're disabled and need some way to manage your symptoms, Look into the service. Just make an account at the link listed below in the description for $20 credit and use code HELLO30 at checkout for $30 more credit. That's $50 off your first order. If you want to support my channel and everything I do, feel free to hit that subscribe button below, hit the like, or leave a comment. I also suggest you check out my Patreon or... Maybe if you feel like it, drop a couple bucks down to my Kofi so I can feed my cats and pay my bills. If you want to help out autistic people this Autism Acceptance Month, check out the links to ASAN and their resources below and share around with the hashtag RedInstead. Listen to Autistic Voices this month and do your best to do some good in the world. I'll see you guys next video.